down by the hills to the land the fancy is free stand where the peaks meet the sky the rocks meet the sea where the rivers run clear Rockin' is gold in the sun And cares of tomorrow must wait Till this day is done Hey, I'm Matt Bless, harpist and singer. More of a singer than a harpist sometimes. There's a lot of people on the internet here who are, uh, have much better advice and lessons as far as technique goes. But one of the things I wanted to talk about was singing with the harp. And to start out with a very, very basic concept, using triad chords and arpeggiation to give yourself a kind of rhythmic and, and harmonic accompaniment. See, when you're playing uh, instrumentals on the harp, like that same tune, your right hand is often playing the melody while your left hand plays rhythm and, and or harmony. Uh, and you usually will either be playing chords or you know various harmonic accompaniments. When you're singing with the harp, um, see, when you're playing a melody line on an instrumental, uh, the melody and the harmony are both in the same timbre, so you really don't want a huge amount of overlap if you want the melody to shine through. But when you're singing with a harp, it's a very different sound, so you really want as full a sound as possible out of the instrument. This is where the harp's, uh, you know, arpeggio, arpeggios, which is playing like a harp, where you can take a chord and play it over a couple octaves and use that full sound to really support your voice. And... For, the, for starting out, especially if you're looking at, say, a piece of a, you know, a chord sheet written out for guitar, where you'll have the words with the chords written over top of them, um, the, really the easiest thing to do is just start out with your basic triad chords, which is your, your first note, so in this case a C, your third note, E, fifth note, G, or every other note. Um, and if you start on the, the root note, so if I have something that says C, F, C, G, C, F, C, G, and you just work your way on up from that. And what I'm doing, because this song is kind of in a 6-8 type of rhythm, I'm just playing. Nothing super complicated, and you can add a lot of ornaments and embellishments. But what this does is give you a very full harmony spread out over a couple of octaves, which can sound great when you're singing along with it. Um, I mean, it is possible, and in the right circumstances, just to play. From by the hills to the land. Fancy is free. And if you're playing with a guitarist or something or some a rhythm section, that might actually work really well. But right now, that doesn't really drive the rhythm well. Whereas, come by the hills to the land where fancy is free. Just kind of helps give it that da -da 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 and keeps the music swaying. And also, um, jumping between octaves like that helps you divide it into the, the two halves of the measure. So it's like one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two. You can also, I wouldn't overcomplicate it. I'm gonna include the chords and the words to the song. It's a traditional Irish one in the, uh, in the notes for the video. And uh, give it a try yourself. Just stick to simple. Simple chord patterns like that. That'll get you started singing with the harp. And, you know, sometimes the singing is the harder part, depending on uh, what kind of day you're having. So, good luck.